So I have a bunch of sales data and I need to organize that data and put it into buckets or bins. Now I've got a lot of other columns in this data, but I actually just want to summarize the sales. Now the sales range from $1 to $30, but there are lots of sales. And I'd like to put that data into buckets of $1 to 10, $11 to 20, and $21 to 30. Now I could probably use the subtotal tool to try and accomplish this, but the problem with the subtotal tool is that it organizes and groups your data into buckets based on other columns. Now I could also try and use the pivot table tool to do the same thing, but it's the exact same problem. Now I could manually do this using a pivot table or I could use formulas, but either one of those are manual actions. And if I have a lot of data, that's going to take me a while. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little hidden tool in Microsoft Excel. It's called a histogram. A histogram is the perfect tool for taking numerical data and putting it into buckets. And you get to customize the bucket. Not a bad tool. So stick around and I'll show you how to use the histogram tool in Microsoft Excel. As you can see, we have a couple of columns of information. Our first column, E, contains sales for our product ranging from $1.25 all the way to $27.52. On the right, in column K, I have different levels that I'd like to place that information into. So sales from 0 to 10, from 11 to 20, and then all sales from 21 to 30. Now to use the histogram to accomplish this task, I'll first need to activate the analysis tool pack in Excel. And to do that, I'll move to the file tab and then down to options. Once the options appear, I'll want to go to the add-in section on the bottom left side of the screen and choose add-ins. And these will show all of the active, inactive, and disabled add-ins in the Excel program. So I'll want to move to the bottom of the screen and choose manage Excel add-ins. There are several other choices, but make sure to take the Excel add-ins option and then click the Go button. When we click Go, the Add-ins dialog box appears and you have the option right away to turn on the Analysis Tool Pack. Now, I recommend turning on the Analysis Tool Pack and also the Analysis Tool Pack VBA as that contains small VBA uh, features that are not normally available as well as a few formulas that you may not normally see in the program. So I'll turn both of them on and then I'll click OK. This will then add an additional section or group to my ribbon under the data tab, data analysis. I'll move to the data analysis section or group, click the data analysis button. And when the dialog box opens, it will show me several data analysis tools that I might not normally find in the program. Everything from correlation and covariance all the way down to regression and sampling. So in this exercise, we'll just take a look at the histogram tool and then click OK. When the histogram dialog box appears, it immediately asks you two questions. What is the input range? And that is our sales data. So I'll click the small arrow here to the right, and then I'll select the very first value in our product sales range. And although I could drag, I'll use a keystroke to select everything in that contiguous range, Control, Shift, and the down arrow. After selecting all the data that I'd like to put into buckets or bins, I'll click the return button 
And then the next question is the bin range, or where are the buckets? So I'll click the selection button here to the right, scroll up just a bit to our ranges, and I'll select the three ranges as well as the title so that I can show that on the chart. I'll move to the return button, click that, brings me back to the histogram dialog box, and then I'll choose labels to get the word levels to show on the finished product. Below that are some options for me, and I can put this histogram on uh, another sheet or into a brand new workbook, or I can just put the histogram tool on the current sheet that I'm on, and I'll do that one. So I'll select the radio button, then click the selection button, and then pick the spot where I'd like to see the histogram. When I return back, my last options are to get the histogram also sorted. I can get a cumulative percentage to show up next to the buckets or bins in the finished product. And my finished product in this case will be a chart output. So let's take the two bottom ones, the cumulative percentage and the chart output. That's it. Our histogram is now ready to go. And when I click OK, it will create a histogram and show me how many sales, six, fall into the level of zero to ten dollars. Nineteen sales between eleven and twenty, and thirteen sales between 21 and 30. You'll also see the cumulative percentage here on the right and a chart. Now the chart shows all the data that's on the histogram and the chart is connected to the histogram. The histogram, however, is not connected to the data. So if there are any changes to the product sales or your bin levels, you'll need to recreate the histogram, which is very easy to do because once the histogram is created, all the settings remain. You'll notice on the chart that the chart is just the same as any other chart that you'd create in Excel and that you have several chart options. It's also creating a bar and line chart with two axes so that you can see both the frequency of the sales in a particular bucket or bin, as well as the cumulative percentage on the right. And that is your histogram tool. So that's a histogram in Excel. Pretty easy to use, huh? But it's just like a regular chart, so you actually could just change the chart to any other chart type. I don't know, maybe a uh, nice 3D pie chart. Huh? Now, personally, I think that the histogram tool is too good to be tucked away in the analysis tool pack, but I guess you've only got so much room on a ribbon. I'll be back in future videos to talk about some of those other tools in the analysis tool pack now that you've enabled it. But in the meantime, I hope that you find the histogram tool to be a really helpful addition to your Excel knowledge and a great way to allow you to, well, manage your own buckets. Until our next video, thanks for joining me, and I'm Wayne.